<laughs> this week we got a gag. Now all of our gags are always big explosions or big car crashes or pod cars. Um, sometimes they're like these small little finesseful things. A guy walks into a room and he kind of plants this smoke bomb. The, the smoke color is going to be red. So we have a little bit of work on our hands to kind of figure that out and figure out what compounds we could use that are safe um, and be able to create this red smoke in the cup and make the cup vibrate a little bit. We've got a coffee cup that we want to see a puff of smoke come out, a red smoke come out of. The wire's so good. We've got a nichrome wire attached to two contacts on the inside of a metal cap, a galvanized steel cap, to prevent any heat from escaping our working area. For an action, we're going to turn on our 12-volt battery to ignite our nichrome wire and hope to charge the red smoke to give us a nice puff coming out of our lid. Well, I'm already done. I'll be in my trailer. Standard issue Dixie cup that we've run our wires through. And on the inside, we've got a nice little galvanized cap. Recessed into it is some black wrap aluminum foil for added heat protection. Across there, it's connected to our wires. We've got some Nichromium wire works as our heating element for the powder that we put into the black wrap. And we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. Because it did indeed snap from the heat. Well, initially I was gonna remove the whole thing, but I feel like I could honestly just rewrap it. It's still pretty sturdy and strong. It's connected on one side. If I can get a good secure snug fit on this one, we'll be able to reuse it. I want you to do all of this. Make a coil. Feed these wires through that cap, attach to the coil, pull your wires back down and in a snug position, reset it, and then put your uh, red powder in. Because we only want a little bit. We don't want it to spark up enough to where it burns the cup. Copy that. All right, let's relocate our cup to our centralized working location. It's going hot. Three, two, one. That's an awfully hot coffee cup. So initially we were using an open exposed cap and we were allowing too much oxygen to circulate through the device, causing the uh, ignite really quickly, give a black puff of smoke, which we want to avoid. We were able to encapsulate our entire device now and drill some relief holes in the top to allow a smooth flow of air and we're now able to get just simply red smoke coming through the lid. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what they want. That's what we're gonna give them. So we've got our Dixie cup that we were able to manipulate by using miniature vibration devices. And it's going to now give us a nice jiggle and the lid's gonna shake. When we put the vibration devices inside us originally, it was sitting still, it wasn't really giving us enough motion. So what we were able to do was take our steel device and we were able to recreate it using PVC. It's much lighter and it enables us to give some motion to the cup. Now that we kind of got everything set up, we're going to go ahead and kind of create a test video. Um, something that's going to be similar to what we see in the show that we're making. No, oh, that can't be good. All personnel, it is now one minute to zero time. Put on goggles or turn away. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Like and subscribe. You gotta give me more. Do you, I don't understand. Yeah. Like, is it this? Yeah. Like and subscribe. Double. You, see, like see. and subscribe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. Effects. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this.